As coronavirus continues to spread, health officials are aggressively looking for new ways to diagnose patients. That includes a new test which looks at a person's blood to see if there are any antibodies in that blood to the virus. Joining us is NBC News science correspondent Dr. Joseph Fair. Dr. Fair, talk to us about how this test works. Would it be in place of the swab test, the nasal swab test we've seen so often? It, it will not be in place of the nasal swab test. So the difference is that nasal swab test tells you if you are acutely ill uh, with the virus uh, that causes COVID-19. SARS-CoV-2 is the name of that virus. Uh, what this new antibody test does is it tells you if you had COVID-19 and if you've recovered from it. And so it'll break it down into two types of antibodies, the, the kind that you first get when you just, you know, are very recently recovering from an infection, and then the protective type of antibodies, which we call IgG antibodies, that develop anywhere from four to six weeks after you've recovered from a viral disease. So we're particularly interested in that group of individuals and, you know, knowing who has that protective immune response and how strong it is, because, you know, one, those are people that can go back to work sooner and get back to life a little bit sooner as well as those individuals can donate their blood for you know the use of the plasma for people that are still acutely in the fight for their life against COVID-19 infection. Yeah, that's such a good point. I, I read somebody who was writing about getting through to the other side and they said this was the bright spot knowing that they had antibodies that they could then give to somebody else to try to help them not go through it in the same way that they did. Dr. Fair, one thing a lot of people want to know about is if they get coronavirus and they recover, are they immune and for how long might they be? Um, you know, right now, anecdotally, you know, well, let me summarize it into a few things. So. We know of a lot of individuals that uh, previously were cleared uh, and meaning they tested negative and then they later on went to develop in uh, infections. And I, I say a lot, you know, that's a relatively low number, but still we know these individuals exist. We believe primarily those were what we call false negatives. So they tested negative, but they were actually still positive uh, when they were retested later positive. Overwhelmingly, and from a laboratory study on monkeys, which is where we base a lot of our you know, human data is what happens in a monkey, is that those monkeys could not be reinfected with the virus that causes COVID-19 once they had recovered from it. So if we're looking to that and, you know, kind of overwhelmingly that, you know, humans that have gotten this have at least that we know of on the larger scale not been reinfected with it, we can assume that there is some immunity to the virus. We just have no idea how much, how long that will be, either months, a year, years. We'll have no idea until we're actually studying intensely the individuals that have had the disease, which is, again, why that antibody test is so important, because you'll be producing antibodies mm -hmm. for this, you know, All against right, Dr. Fair, thanks so much for, at least for the time and for the insight. I know a lot of people have more questions, so I know there'll be a lot more coming up tonight on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt here at 630. Appreciate the time. Thank you.